Yesterday, yeah, it was last night, I was watching The Young Turks, Cenk Uger's program. Cenk is a friend and colleague. Young Turks is a TV show. Uh, it's on the web, uh, theyoungturks.com, I think is their website. And Cenk was talking about me <laughs> and something that I was talking about. And here's what he had to say. You're watching Tom Hartman. Uh, and uh, he mentioned an article uh, from the Wall Street Journal on February 26th of this year. And uh, honestly, I've got to keep it real with you. Uh, I thought Tom uh, misinterpreted it in some ways, okay? Uh, but it is an enormously important article, and I'm so glad I was watching his show uh, to have uh, heard him talking about that. And so what was this article? It was about hedge funds who had gotten together uh, in a meeting that was supposed to be a little bit secret. Well, you know, look, they're running private uh, money, so of course they're not going to do that in, in public. And there's, I don't think there's anything particularly nefarious about that, but the Wall Street Journal found out about it and they wrote about it. And what they were going to do is uh, they were going to short um, Greece, for example. And we see how that turned out. That turned out to be a really smart bet. And they made a ton of money from it. In fact, at the time, now this was there was already blood in the water, and Greece already had troubles, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but let me, let me just jump in here because you know Jenk is going through the the long explanation of it. At one point, though, he says, you know, well, you know, if, if you're betting again, if you're betting on something and you lose, it, you know, that's the kind of capitalism I can live with. And the, the I, apparently the the big point that I was trying to make got lost in the translation, and so I want to make that point again. That what these guys were doing is they weren't just betting against Greece. It wasn't that. It's that they have the ability. In fact, let's let's back up a little bit. Between 1936 and 1982, certain kinds of derivatives, particularly op certain types of options where you weren't a party to the sale, were illegal. In other words, you could an oil company and an airline could buy derivatives from each other. They could they could they could buy uh, futures, and they could even buy insurance on those future bets. But that was it, because they were actual counterparties who were going to sell or take the possession of the product. In '82, the Futures Trading Act of 1982 legalized the modern options, but they still weren't much used because nobody really understood them. And, and, and in, so, in January of '93. Wendy Graham of the Commodity Futures Trading Corporation promised to provide a safe haven for these futures. And in 87, a guy by the name of Michael Milken invented something called the Collateralized Debt Obligation, the CDO. In 2000, because of Wendy Graham again with the Commodity Futures Modernization Act and her husband Phil, complete deregulation happened. So what we have now is that a bank can bet on something happening without having any skin in the game. These are called, you know, naked naked uh, derivatives, naked naked swaps, naked options. And well, here the uh, Joel Sauskin wrote a great piece for this uh, for World Affairs Brief called Rigging the Markets how they do it. And he says Goldman cre can create 10 trillion dollar uh, tw 10 trillion euros in short positions they can create it out of thin air they don't have to own any euros they don't have to own any greek bonds they can simply bet against it and not just to the tune of a few billion to the tune of a few trillion how do they get 10 trillion dollars how can they make a 10 trillion dollar bet they can borrow hundreds of billions of dollars from the fed because they've redefined themselves as a bank at no interest so they borrow this money for no interest they use that money to create these naked bets that are in the trillions. Now, keep in mind, the, the GDP of the entire planet is $66 trillion. There's not 10 trillion euros in circulation. But Goldman can create ten trillion dollar, a $10 trillion bet against the euro. They can, they can create shorts, short positions, faster than any country can create money. And that's my concern. That's my concern. And I, you know, just to pass it back to you, Jenk, I this is this is a big deal. And the the uh, the practice of naked shorts of no, not just naked shorts of of the the whole CDO thing that Michael Milken started should be banned.
It needs to be outlawed. And the French and the Germans right now are talking about banning it in Europe because they don't want to see their country be the next victim of these banksters. This is a rigged game. There's a reason why the five largest banks in the United States in the last three months haven't had, by and large, haven't had a single day where they didn't make money. Because they always win their bets because they've rigged the game. And because they can borrow a virtually infinite amount of money, well, a large amount of money, from our Fed at no interest rate.